In our last video, we reviewed how to create a tag list by using the Browse button to select tags from the node structure of an OPC server. And while that process is very simple, it can also be extremely time-consuming to browse multiple nodes of the OPC server to find all of the tags for our list. I'll go ahead and browse this node. So maybe here, I only needed, let's say, the first four tags on my list. Now I need to go to a different node to find other tags I'd like to add to my list. And then maybe I need to go to an, the next node and look for tags. And so on. I may have to go into several nodes. So that can be a tedious process. And also, even if that was pretty simple, if I wanted to do any type of bulk editing, and maybe I wanted to add some prefixes to the tag names, or if we had other metadata columns here, you know, for example, maybe engineering units and location. So if I wanted to add other properties like these to each of the tags, I would have to do this on a case-by-case -case basis where I highlight the first tag and then I can come down to the individual tag settings, maybe rename it, add in my engineering units and location individually. Imagine if I could use a spreadsheet that contained my full tag list. Then I could use Excel tools to do mass updates to my tag list ahead of time without the need to update my tag list one line at a time. And we can achieve that by exporting the tag list from the actual OPC server. So here is the OPC server that I previously connected to from the Canary OPC collector. So I can export the tag list to a CSV file from here by right-clicking on my tag group and choosing to export. And I can save that file. Once I have exported the CSV file, I can open it up and begin editing my tag list. So first, maybe I need to do a bulk tag name update. Maybe I want to change the H pumps to I pumps. Now what I did here was I updated the OPC node ID name as well, which I don't want to do that, because it's important to note that this is the actual mapping of there are tag names back into the OPC server. So it's important that I don't change these. Okay, so I fixed that. Now maybe I need to adjust some dead banding. Maybe I know that we don't want to send updates to the historian unless the value changes on these by a factor of two units. And then maybe we want to add some engineering units I know that this would be BPD for barrels per day. And then I want to add locations. These are all in the southeast location. And these are in the northwest location. So we can also do a data transformation. We'll go ahead and do a data transformation on our barrels per day. We'll say value divided by 55. Now, if I'm satisfied with my tag list in Excel, I can go ahead and copy that so we can get ready to paste it over into the OPC collector. I'll go ahead and remove these tags. Now we'll go ahead and paste in our tag list by hitting the Paste New button. So that wraps up the process of how to create a tag list inside an Excel worksheet and then copy and pasting that into our OPC collector to get the final tag list ready.